Hey, what's up? Last year, the C-Share coffee machine appeared in Xiaomi's Yopin store. Despite being a really great machine, I had to say this about it. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is a little bit of a shame because I might have actually bought it if it did. Well, they have just updated the coffee machine and very recently released this new version, a Wi-Fi enabled smart coffee maker. It works with the Mi Home app, so uh, let's go. In the box, you'll find 20 cups of coffee, an instruction manual, the coffee machine, and the leak tray. I've bought mine directly from the store here in China, so it comes with the typical Chinese size three pin plug. The design of the coffee maker itself is pretty nice, and it's pretty much the same as the first generation. Its dimensions are only 34 by 26 centimeters, being 10 centimeters wide, so it's a pretty convenient size. On the back, it's got a 580 milliliter water reservoir and the coffee maker itself weighs in at about 3.2 kilograms, making it a pretty heavy and solid feeling device. The mechanical switch on top of the first generation has now been removed in favor of a endless rotary knob because of the added Wi-Fi. Installing it in the Mi Home app is exactly the same as any other Wi-Fi enabled device. Simply go to the devices page in the Mi Home app, add a new device and look for the C-Share coffee machine in the list of Wi-Fi devices. After this, you'll have to input your Wi-Fi network and password, connect to the device's Wi-Fi network and that will allow it to connect to your router and install it. Once it's installed, you can assign it to a location in the app, optionally rename it and uh, you should be good to go. Before the actual first use, I set it to clean this device. A pretty nice touch is that it's got two different flavors of coffee included, so uh, I had to try it with the coffee that they added, and the first cup I made was surprisingly good. From the app, you can uh, start the coffee machine and set it to make a cup of espresso, americano, or simply hot water. When uh, selected espresso, you can set the size of your coffee and the temperature. And when selecting Americano, you can set the amount of coffee, the temperature, as well as the amount of added water. From the app, you can also run a cleaning program and uh, set up smart home automation rules to turn the coffee machine on or off. It also shows a log of how many coffees you've made and how many capsules you've used. The machine uses the standard sized capsules that other brands like Krupp use as well meaning that you can use it with the capsules from other brands like Nespresso or Nescafe or Illy or whatever you prefer. To put that to the test, I've bought some Nespresso and these work just like expected. The added Wi-Fi is actually quite handy when you want your coffee to be ready when you get out of bed, but you do gotta remember to put in a capsule and put a cup in the night before. The smart coffee maker is currently not supported by the Xiaomi AI speaker, but that might come in the future because I kind of foresee there must be someone wanting to voice control their coffee maker. Shai Dongxie, can you make me a coffee? Overall, I'm really satisfied with the coffee. It's got the 19 bar pressure, which is identical to many other coffee makers from other brands. And uh, being able to set the temperature is great news for those who might drink a certain tea or coffee that tastes best at a certain temperature. I was really quite surprised. I uh, used to make espressos with beans, but the taste of the coffee from these capsules was actually surprisingly good. In some ways, uh, a lot of people might find the added Wi-Fi to be quite gimmicky, but the option to set the temperature and the size of the coffee through the app makes this actually quite smart. With the added bonus of being able to remotely set your coffee from the bed, you might surprise someone uh, on your next sleepover. The second generation capsule coffee makers is a bit more pricey, going for 7.99 RMB as compared to the 4.99 RMB price tag of the first generation, but the added functionality of this new Wi-Fi model do kind of justify the price. So that's it for the C-Share Smart Coffee Maker. I've put down some links to where you could buy it online, and if you're interested, you can read more about it on the Xiaomi Fi website. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.